Start recording. Hi, what's up, guys? It's your boy here with another episode of a Fender Bender uh, the Traffic Lawsuit <laughs> traffic uh, Extreme lawsuit. Road Rage. Once again, here with the Doggart. The one that made him get this game forcibly. He hates can this, do, but I, I make him do, do it. Dance route again. <laughs> do you want Please? to? Do you do you want to? A little bit. We're not gonna we'll get. We're not gonna end. get this done, we'll do though. We gotta get this done. We do. Where are we going? I vote for. Uh, these people. Uh, what's not what's her name? Uh, this is security guard person. Do Lin. We haven't done Lin. One after Dina. We haven't done Dino. Steph. Steph. I vote for Steph. Mm -hmm. Although I will say, if we want to do Lin. I, I do know her, like optimal route. Uh huh. So you cheated. Yeah. He cheated. Judge. I did judge. He chat. I did this. Judge. I did. I did Lin without him. Judge. He chat. <gasps> this is already looking <laughs> good. It starts off at the. Duck. Starts off at okay, the fine. duck. Oh, she even mentions it. Looks like the park is here. The duck seems happy. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yes! I think, I think you should do Steph since she's mentioned the duck. Okay, what voice do I give Steph? Oh, do we like actually start? Wait, what the fuck? What? Why are we a girl? That's not how this works. Steph's the one that like changes between the two constantly. What? Don't you remember in Zara's route? That was the security guy, girl, guy, girl. Was it? Move the window. What are you doing? I don't, I'm like moving the window. I'm trying to make sure it's not like off my screen. You can see. What what voice do I do for this? Uh, Germa voice. <laughs> Germa voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can really do that. All right, fine. Uh, uh <clears throat> you know, I should like uh, drink do, some do water. Do a gay voice. Do, do a gay, gay voice. voice. That should come naturally to you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Get styled on. Wow, rude. Throw in some fucking shade. Spinning right. out the hot fire. Alright. Back to patrolling the mall. Patrol the university campus after lunch. My name is Steph, and I'm a security guard with CBT security. CDG. CBT. We're a private security company tasked with patrolling a few locations around town. Oh my, I can't fucking see. Holy, my glasses... This is actually terrible. It's so humid. Fuck. You should stop that. I I should. I should get like a dehumidifier in here. Honestly, it's probably from your own like fumes wafting off you and the fumes making it all foggy. wafting off me. Yeah, I mean that's Sorry. why like goggles and stuff always fucking fog up. I'm not actually you're hot. Police officer. I'm not that hot. <laughs> no, <actually>. Not hot. <laughs> I play video games on the internet. How hot could I be? You see that duck? Can't oh, arrest that duck. that duck. Can't arrest that duck. Can't make any arrests. But I am pretty much in charge of keeping peace around here. I do have a gun. If there's a problem, not, people come to me to solve it. That rarely ever happens, though. Okay, I gotta, I'll get a, I gotta, I'll think of a voice eventually to do. You'll know when it happens. This town is pretty quiet most of the time. And my job consists I thought you were already one. doing the gay voice. That, it's just... Fuck you. Oh, you were about fuck to say, you. that's just my voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the pay is decent. Is I that my God. radio? What is this face? Why is she so surprised? <laughs> what is that face? Hello? Hello? <laughs> hey, don't be mocked. Steph, it's Mark. Oh, hi, oh, Mark. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> We've got a report of some stolen stock at Lolita. Can I get you to check in with them? No problem. I'm on my way now. Thanks, Steph. Thanks. Mark's my boss. He runs all the computers and monitors and security. He runs Mark's all the computers. And... Just a big ass fucking pause <laughs> with the rest of the day. I don't care. He's, he's my boss. <laughs> We have been working for him for like a year. You could have said that somewhere else. I don't fucking know. 
I'm in charge of patrolling and keeping an eye out for trouble. We actually make a pretty good team. Mark's nice to me. He's a he's really kind. He's fun to talk to and he's looking and he's good looking to boot. He's pretty much everything you'd want in a boss. I wanna fuck him really bad. It was only a short walk from the park to the mall, and I was able to get there in no time flat. Like your feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Some people have flat feet. Do you have flat feet? No. Mm -hmm. Lolita was a girly oh, clothing store with heavy emphasis on Lolita and punk fashions. I didn't shop there. I think this is the first time I've been inside. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steph from CBT Security. You called us a shoplifter? You're gonna have to, it's your girl. Oh, it's your it girl. is my girl. The soft romantic voice. Oh no. I need to like drink water. I should have had some water before starting this. Yeah. Should have had some beer. It happened about 20 minutes ago. What happened? I was working the register when I saw a guy in a hoodie walk in. It was a little strange, but I didn't think too much of it. I was working the register. Let me pose for you. <laughs> it's so good with She's your so voice. Gay. Too. <laughs> You're so gay. This guy browsed some stuff on racks for a while, most notably the gothic Lolita section. Another customer walked in then, so I took my eyes off him. The next thing I know, he's sprinting out of the store with a bunch of clothes in his arms. By the time I got outside, he was long gone. Didn't you think it was weird that a guy was in a girl's clothing store? You haven't been in this town long, have you? There's a lot of gays around here. Did you manage to get a description of the guy? Not really. I never paid any attention to his face. I was too busy Look looking at, at his huge monster dong. The store clerk showed me that it, what had been stolen, so I filled out a damage report and for the insurance company. The store would get their money back, and normally that would be the end of it, but I wasn't going to stop until I caught this guy, because it was personal now. <laughs> didn't sit right with me. You're I was going to do my best to catch this guy. I wish I had something to go off, though. So I'm looking for a guy in a hoodie. Once he took off the hoodie... Then I won't be able to recognize him. What a great cop. She is so Is it just me? Blonde. Is it just she's me? So or does she just have like tiny little baby hands? <laughs> she has tiny little a lot of people have tiny little baby hands. I wonder if we caught him on the security cameras. Lolita doesn't have one, but there's one right outside that could have spotted him. I'll have Mark look over the security footage for me tonight. It's oh, I honking. understand now. Hey, Stephanie. Fan tucking fastic. Hi, Dino. Why does Dino look fat? Because she is fat. She looks fatter. She's thick. True. Working hard. It's hardly working. <laughs> Just hard at work. I take it you're keeping out of trouble, not secretly taking revealing pictures of people or anything. Please, that was months ago. I don't know stuff like that anymore. She really is thick. Uh huh. God, look at that fucking butt. Look bug. at that ass. Dino is probably the craziest person I've ever met. Despite She's her really big presence, Dino is surprisingly mysterious, and I honestly don't know that much about her. Def just called her fat. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's not fat, she's thick. It's different, I swear. It's different. For the past few months, Dinah's been causing me all sorts of trouble, and her actions have only gotten weirder ever since she started wearing those cat ears everywhere. I still don't buy her stories that they're animatronics she ordered from overseas. Those things look way too real to be a stupid costume. I remember a time when her boobs looked insanely out of proportion, but she doesn't look so ridiculous now that she put on a bit of weight. Dude, she's fat. That's probably due to all those nachos at Sunset Flight. Man, they have some good-ass nachos. Oh. oh! I thought they were going under. No, they're not. They've got the best nachos. I like how even if you were to go character to character in order, you'd be skipping all over the timeline anyways. Okay. Shouldn't you be at work or at class or something? Class? 
class. Why? Don't you want to hang out with me? I am super I have back. work to do. <laughs> Lame. People work? What are you, a fucking peasant? Well, I guess I'll leave you to your work, peasant. See you around, Dino. Fuck off, you bourgeoisie prick. <laughs> <laughs> Dino slinked off into the distance, and I continued my patrol of the area. There's something I just don't trust about that girl. Something about that boy just ate right. <laughs> According to my watch, it's almost lunchtime. Awesome, let's see. Can I come? Ah! I couldn't help but over here. You know what? With big at cat ears. Go on. away. Aww. Ugh. Oh, see, I Ugh. understand. See, now we're gonna blow her off, and then she's gonna be all pissed. And, oh, I got a discount there. Because I helped with an unruly incident. That's how the incident is better. Get those dank nachos. Hey, Brian. Any sus suspicious danger behavior going on? Nothing more than usual. Good to hear. So, what can I get you? Yeah, I'll have, uh, two number nines. A number nine large. A number the six. Nine machine is extra broke. dip. A number no, seven. Nine machine two is, number nine four machine fives with cheese. You can't get the nines. Change it to something else. Oh, fine. Oh, can I just, have a, can I just have a hot chocolate and some biscuits? Is boneless fine? No. Bone and biscuits, please. <laughs> Can I have a rum and coke? It's Pepsi fine? Sure. <laughs> you gave me a coke and Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Got it. Sure. Anything else? Nah, no, that's all. Then your food will be ready in a few minutes. Wait, can I actually get some of those dank nachos? No. Fuck. You need to stay skinny, Steph. This was pretty much the routine can't I followed the every day at work. Hands. Patrol the park and outside areas, spend lunchtime wandering around the mall, and finish up by checking on the university campus. CBT security had managed to secure the contact. Contra contract. Contract? Contract. To yes. several different places. Yes. So I got to go to a bunch of different places each day. They even let me drive the security van, but I prefer to walk because everything. Because everything, that thing is a nightmare around corners. Because everything's a nightmare. Everything's around a court. nightmare on the corners. <laughs> Have you ever seen that movie Nightmare on Elm Street? Everywhere. <laughs> fucking everything's Elm Street here. <laughs> Once my lunch break was over, I left the mall and walked over to the university campus. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. It's this fucking the university goddamn is so statue, creepy yeah. when there aren't any students around. Yeah, it is creepy. There's All just these mermaids, mermaids look like they just want to like, fuck me. There's still another four months until normal classes start up again. This place is going to feel like a ghost town until then. I wonder if we'll ever see see Yale Chan in any Yale of the other Chan. Whoa! You get like glimpses of her in like Lynn and Dinah's because oh. obviously. Yeah. You just don't have to worry about any vandalism or anything. It makes my life easier. For some reason, I had this weird feeling like someone was watching me. It was really creepy, but I checked around a few times. There wasn't anybody there, except this fucking mermaid statue. Look at all. My search for the shoplifter didn't go too well either. I spoke to a few different university employees asking if they'd seen anyone in a hoodie sneaking around, but no one had seen anything. It was annoying, but it was only a matter of time until he slipped up and I caught him. Until I slipped up and caught him? Until he slipped up and I caught him. I don't even know. I, th I actually Criminal. think it did say did that. It? You kind of went by a little too fast. It was annoying, but it was only a matter of time until he slipped up and I caught him. Ah, okay. Criminals, hey, you actually yeah, I figured it out. Look at me. Up. Damn. Good job. Criminals were a superstitious and cowardly lot, but with me on the case, they stood no chance. Wait, why are criminals superstitious? Because they're they're afraid of ghosts. And they don't like them. Ha ha ha! I went into a house. You can't enter a house without permission. Ha! Ah. That's vampires. After a few more minutes patrolling, I called it a day and walked <laughs> back to the office to speak with Mark. Hey, Daphne, did you catch that shoplifter at Lalita? That is not the same I voice. <laughs> I, I don't remember. No, there was no trace of him. He was long gone. Uh, no, wait, no, no, I got it. Over the my, over uh, phone and or... He sounds cooler over the walkie-talkie. 
Yeah, he sounds cooler. I had a look on the security footage, but we didn't catch much. The camera there is angled in such a way that you can only see the top of his head, and it's obscured by a hoodie. I tried following where he went on tapes, but he runs outside via north entrance, and not a single camera got his face. Damn. At least he didn't get away with much. From the security footage, it looks like he only got a small set of clothes. Yeah, the sorcerer clerk said as much. Even so, I'd like to catch him. I really want to impress that sexy store clerk. Don't Damn. lose too much sleep over it. It's not the end of the world. Except for the small nuclear device he saw. Yeah, I know, but... Well, that's your fini- That's you finished for the day. You're free to go home now. Awesome. Hey, Mark. Yeah? You want a bone sometime? Neil. <laughs> um, I... What? Never mind, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Fucking chicken pussy, goddammit, ask me out already. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Thanks, Mark! <laughs> Damn it, Steph. Why didn't I ask him out? Hey. I had him right there. Hey, that's a pretty cool I, looking I room. doing this to myself? Wait a second, she's wearing a hoodie. She she's was the robber she's... all along. You're such an idiot, Steph. Honestly? It's always tomorrow, I guess. What should I eat for dinner? I'm cooking some ravioli. <laughs> I vegged out. I vegged out. <laughs> oh, in front okay, of the TV in front of the TV. I thought she was talking about vegging out with the food. I vegged out with my ravioli, ravioli. My th oh, hey, you <laughs> thanks, know what? Chef. <laughs> no, chef. Chef's a Scientologist. He's not allowed on South Park anymore. Chef Boyardee. No, chef from South Park. I wasn't talking about well, the more popular characters. I was talking about Chef Boyardee, the Boyardee. The, the canned ravioli guy. And I was talking about Chef. I made the joke, and then you're like Chef Boyardee, and I'm like, no. Mm hmm. It was the most exciting of evenings. Did you, just, did you just slurp your beverage on on tape? Actually, it's a second beverage. He, he slurped I two. Be he chugged his original beverage. And I is now change. slurping the secondary beverage. This is pretty much the usual for me. I had never been one to go out much. I had previously had a few friends in high school, but most of them have moved away for college or s for some other reasons. So these days, I generally spent my time alone. They didn't like all the gender bending. I wasn't complaining. Around. Falling asleep watching TV was one of my favorite hobbies. Mm hmm. Crash. Ah. Oops. Ellipses. I was woken up in the middle of the night by a loud crashing noise. What the what the hell was that? Hello? Is there anybody there? This is nah, I've got an authority badge and I'm not afraid to use it. This was scary. I was a girl all alone in her house. There was someone outside trying to break in or something. I didn't know what was going on, but sitting here wasn't going to accomplish anything. I need to act. Despite fear eating away at me, I summoned my courage and oh, threw open the curtains. Huh. Some garbage bins have fallen over outside. Doesn't look like there's anybody outside, though. It was probably just a cat or something. It's fucking dino. Okay, Steph, just, nothing to see no. here. Back to bed for you. Ooh. I shut the curtains and went back to sleep. But this time, I migrated to my bed instead of falling asleep on the couch. Dude, why would you ever fall asleep on the... I uh, actually, no, I can't. I can't finish that sentence. I fell asleep on the floor recently. Wow. What a dude. <laughs> Once the sun rose, I stepped outside to do some investigation into that loud crash from the previous night. Apart from what looked from like animal fur near one of the garbage bins, I couldn't find anything. This wasn't the first time something like this happened. Two of my neighbors had dogs that occasionally escaped their yards, so I suspected this was their doing. After putting the bins back in their place outside, I made myself some cereal for breakfast and got ready for work. She didn't tell us the color of the fucking fur. Blue. Morning, Steph. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good, actually. 
Hey, are you able to stay back tonight? I got a call from Fred. And Max Heart Studios is holding another secret concert here tonight. You'd be working in unison with their security team just to make sure everything goes smoothly. You think that fucking spiked the goddamn audio? Maybe. No, probably not. <laughs> They're holding another concert? This is like the second one this week. Yeah, it's pretty insane. It brings them all a lot of money, but I'm starting to think they're overdoing it. Will I be paid overtime rates if I stay back? No! Then count me in. <laughs> I love being underpaid. It turns me Good on. Good to hear it, Steph. I love underpaying you. Man, this music is really pumping. Definitely don't blame him. This music is driving me insane. Hey, wait a minute. After looking left and right, the hooded dude moved out of the crowd and approached the women's clothing store named Boxers. After kicking the that door, makes no sense. he pulled a crowbar out of his jeans and started making quick work on the door. 